down, believe it or not, after the carnage of 60,000 calories. This is the Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm gonna be trying my hand at mountain biking and gonna be trying to have some fun out there. So it does kind of suck because I really wanted to try out these Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, cereal bars during the actual challenge, but I didn't really get to them. Yesterday I was told I'm gonna be on TV, so I'm pretty excited. I mean, I'm always down to collab with Eden channels. I love it. It's perfect. It always makes sense. So thanks, Eric, man. I appreciate that. I really do, man. But seriously, uh, let's hook up next time I'm in your hood, man. Shout out to Furious Pete. Expect something big in the future, guys. It's Friday. And cheers to some coffee. So I got the cool shades on, and I don't have my uh, spandex on, which is really, really weird and new. But we're going to be... Uh, Riding a mountain bike today. After the 130 mile ride, I really determined that a lot of fun was being sucked out of my riding, and so I'm gonna be trying to have some fun out there. Go, go, go. That was fun. My ass hurts a lot though. Let's go home. Eh, nah, no thanks. So it's been a little less than 12 hours since I actually uploaded the video. Well folks, it's about that time. Publish time. And so, it begins. Comment section is going to be rather amusing with this video. The video already has like 80,000 views. I can't even believe the amount of feedback I've gotten and most of it's been positive. Just a big shout out to every single one of you that's actually sent me love, Snapchats, comments, everything. Um, I really appreciate the support guys. Thanks a lot. I actually kind of miss cream of rice and strawberries. Well, people, I am done right now. I didn't do anything besides go in and deadlift. My body needs a break. I don't know if I mentioned it already in this video, but I did get my blood work done and I got some news that I need to just give my body a break. And I pretty much knew that already. Anyways, so I went in, deadlifted 10 pound PR and I hit 375 for a triple, felt amazing. There's a lot running through my head right now. It feels good to just not give a shit gotta be completely honest I have a thousand things that I feel like I want to say but I'm not gonna turn this into another ranting video I told myself that I'm going to be taking a new direction with my life I'm going to be doing some prioritizing some figuring out of some things fixing things it's gonna be odd for me and maybe for you if I do end up showing you guys what I plan on doing or what I'm going to do I should say it feels good to feel good but then again it feels like every day is different and some days you feel shitty anyways I'm gonna shut up now I'll see you guys in a little bit I did have to get some more diet in W because I've not had in W in yeah a few days. So I got some of that, and I had to get some more oatmeal. Been going through these still like crazy. Um, actually, you know what? I'm I should say I'm doing oats. I also have been doing cream of rice again, guys. So cream of rice, lower fiber, and yeah, just trying to minimize my fiber intake. And I always get the question, Eric, why are you trying to minimize your fiber intake, guys? It's because I take in a lot of this vegetables and this too. So when you have fruit, vegetables that make up the bulk of your diet, you get a lot of fiber. So I try to minimize my fiber intake from things like that. Um, yeah, so I answered that question. <laughs> so speaking of fruit and vegetables, celery right there, that was on sale. And speaking of on sale, we have these. These were 99 cents, so I had to stock up on these. And some yeast, because I ran out when I was making my good old English muffin that I made in my 60,000 calorie video. And I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna get all plain old rice cakes this time. Uh, just plain old rice cakes, don't get me wrong, I still love plain old rice cakes, but I wanted to get white cheddar, so white cheddar is an old favorite of mine. 
had to get some syrup too. And then we got some cashew milk right there. And then chicken was on sale as well. So it was like freaking $3.49 per pound right there. So I made sure to get some chicken. So I'll probably be growing that up soon. And then I have not gotten broccoli. I've just been doing this Brussels sprouts and then just, I mean, lettuce and spinach and all that. So I decided to get some broccoli right there and then we got some stevia. Alrighty guys, and in this bag right here, I had to get some more Diet 7-Up. I haven't had Diet 7-Up in forever. So I wanted to get some of that. And speaking of things I haven't had in forever, Brussels sprouts. When I'm making some of those, I had to get some more cocoa powder right there and snap peas, rice cakes, usual stuff, except this gem right here, everybody. I have not ever seen this before. This is brand new blueberry lemon clusters cereal. Now, I'm not normally a fan of lemon at all, so I'm very curious to see how this actually tastes. So, I am going to be doing a cereal review soon. So, you might see that in this video. And then, right here, cashew milk, usual stuff, guys. Pollock, I'm gonna do probably some fish later on. I don't know if it's gonna be tonight. And then one last thing I have not seen before. I've seen the broccoli tots, I have not seen the cauliflower tots. So you guys know I'm the cauliflower king, so I wanted to give these a shot and see how they taste. So that is the whole guys. I will see you in the next part of the video. When you got Brussels sprouts, fish, rice, Diet Pepsi, and House of Cards. I'm just so thankful to be eating vegetables again. You have no idea. Sorry vegans, you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm wondering how this fucking bug managed to get in my... It's like a beetle. Sorry, good night sweet prince. I don't like bugs guys, sorry. Just can't do it. Sometimes you just gotta take care of business. Alrighty folks, so tonight we're gonna be trying out the Special K Blueberry Lemon Clusters. Now believe it or not, after the carnage of 60,000 calories, I saw this and I could not not buy it. <laughs> so I did Special K. I just went through a box of this recently, so I decided to get another box and uh, we're gonna try out a all new flavor. For some reason, that first whiff I get from this cereal is smelling pretty promising, I don't know why. Needless to say, I'm very, very surprised. I'm very, very surprised. Don't get me wrong, it has a huge blueberry taste to it, which is obviously going to be there. But honestly, what's winning me over here, guys, are the clusters that are in this cereal. This is gonna be a very quick review and straight to the point, guys. I'm just gonna give this cereal an eight out of 10. If you see it, go get yourself a box. You'll like it. <sighs> oh, by the way, guys, those uh, cauliflower tots, they're not actually that bad. They just, uh, Need some ranch, much better. The next day. Alrighty guys, here's the deal. Yesterday I was told I'm gonna be on TV, so I'm pretty excited. Apparently I'm about to be on TV in about an hour, but I'm going to the gym right now, so we're gonna see if uh, we catch it. Well, it kind of sucks because I was just a little late to the gym and I didn't get to see my little spot on TV. But you know what? We can always catch it online. It's 2017. Eric the Electric has had a terrible idea. I'm giving myself 60 hours to consume 60,000 calories. That sounds insane because it is. If you're wondering how he's going to do it, it's because he's a professional eater. As you can tell, when you see the size of his breakfast. Wow. Yeah, he baked that bread, he made himself his own breakfast sandwich, but I'm not stopping there. He's just eating peanut butter straight out. He's eating Pop-Tarts and all that kind of stuff. For his next meal, he's been to White Castle, KFC, McDonald's, and all of that is going to vanish as well. In between these meals, he's going to the gym, he's going to cycle, he's not letting his life slow down. It continues. Five massive meals, each of them 16, 18,000 calories until he finishes it off with this pretty epic dessert. Did his kidneys give out? He just keeps going like the machine that he is, and in the end... This is going to be 60,000 calorie challenge. 68,024 calories. So how many marathons did he run? That in itself was a marathon. For the record, my stomach was very, very close to giving out. Very close. Time to go have some fun on the trail. Well, I haven't jumped anything since I was a kid, so we're gonna try to test our skills right now. That was new and exciting. Let me just say that mountain biking is an entirely different workout than road riding. Damn, I'm even sweating and I never sweat. I know I look like a dork. Sue me. Well, it's an entirely different workout and you have this, I'll still be bombing down hills like I am about to do.
Finally, finally, finally. So I just got back home from the gym. I actually had to go pick up some knee pads. Well, elbow pads actually. Knee pads may need to come next, but picked up some elbow pads for my mountain bike ride that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. But I needed to make a little investment because a few of you have actually noticed, but we have a little splotch right about there. And um, yeah, I just needed to step up my wide angle lens game. So I'm having a lot more fun with the whole vlogging thing and just, yeah. I need to just step up my quality in general. So <sighs> fiber is real. <laughs> Anyways, everybody. So I use this as my big lens. This is my Sigma uh, 18 to 35 with an f-stop of about 1.8. So I made this investment, I'd say a good six to eight months ago and this was definitely the best, oh man, the best 600 bucks I've ever spent. I actually got this on a really big sale. It's usually like almost a thousand dollars. So this is usually the lens that I use for like my really high quality shots. And I don't really think that the wide angle I picked up is gonna be this high quality. And you have to excuse me, it still has food particles on it. I do need to clean it, but yeah. A lot of you asked me what you should do or where you should spend your money when you are starting a YouTube channel. Obviously you have to really know what you're doing when it comes to editing and everything and you need to be putting your money with good equipment, but really it's gonna come down to knowing how to edit and really know how to create the quality content. That's where you should really be spending your time. Obviously you need to have good stuff as well, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Look at that fine piece of machinery right there, folks. So this one's actually gonna be a 10 to 22 as opposed to the one I'm using, which is a 10 to 18. And it's gonna have a little bit lower of an f-stop on it. Yeah, hopefully the quality does bump up a little bit more. So I'm gonna do the whole thing now where I actually like switch lenses. And uh, yeah, let's just do that right now. Well, I don't know. Can you guys tell a little quality difference? Yeah, the only downside of this one is it doesn't have image stabilization, but I think I'm gonna like this extra range a little bit more. It's time to have some fun with this. This is tight. Mountain bike, road bike. Might just have to go down to the coffee shop. What's up, man? I just got it like an hour ago. Oof. The 10 to 22. Yeah. It's so sick. It's so wide. Dinner time. can't go wrong with the homemade personal pan pizza, right? I feel like I'm constantly telling you guys that you can't go wrong, but honestly, when it comes to pizza, you really just can't go wrong. So it does kind of suck because I really wanted to try out these Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, cereal bars during the actual challenge, but I didn't really get to them, so I get to get to them now. Yeah, it looks somewhat appealing. Part of me really wishes I would have eaten this during the 60K, but thankfully we can try it now. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And believe it or not folks, I was almost ready to say, not bad. <laughs> 400 calories guys, it's just a little cereal bar. It's nothing groundbreaking by any means. And I just realized I have sauce in the pizza I just ate on my face. Yeah, it was good. We'll put it that way. All right guys, so here's the deal. I figured, you know what, the last review that I gave and it just, wasn't substantial enough. It wasn't a real cereal review, so I'm doing another one. This is the Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Everyone, you know I'm a huge fan of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I saw this and figured, you know what? It's Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's gotta be good, right? Let's try it out. Well, unfortunately, uh, we also are cooking some chicken right now, so we're gonna have to take this review into the uh, other room like usual. So I just wanna let you guys know that we had to pull out the golden spoon for this review. This is gonna sound really weird, but this is smelling absolutely amazing. It's making me think that this is gonna be a really great review. And this is the all new Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Let's try it out. Wow, very, very underwhelming. Are you kidding me? 
I am so underwhelmed I can't even begin to describe it to you guys. This is like, this isn't sweet at all. There is like literally no sweetness at all in this cereal. So with its ever so distant cousin, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is probably one of the sweetest cereals in the world, this is like no sweetness at all to it. I gotta be real with you guys, there's just so much to critique here. I mean, as I've said, there's no sweetness at all whatsoever in this cereal. It's very, very easily soggy. It's just, it's just not appealing at all. I can't, I'm just so let down right now. Uh, man, uh, it's a bummer to have to say this, but this is gonna get an overall rating of, it's gonna get three out of 10. Just catching up on my boy, Travis S. Shout out to you, buddy. And shout out to Dried Mango. This stuff is like absolute crack. It's delicious. Well, alrighty, everybody. So I just want to say thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I'm about to have breakfast slash lunch slash whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to say thanks. And I hope you guys are enjoying, I guess, the new direction I'm taking with just my riding. I'm doing more mountain biking now. And also the fact that I'm heading more into a strength phase again. I feel like now more than ever is the time for me to kind of take advantage of the fact that I'm kind of getting over road riding. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing distance anymore. And just just, I guess a new direction with my life entirely. I'm about to move out of my apartment and I'm making some serious changes in my life, which are causing me some uncertainty, but that's a given and it's going to happen. I have to be completely honest too in saying that I've done a lot of research and a lot of reading over the past week when it comes down to hormones, blood work, and all of that. So I'm getting a full panel done next week and I'm gonna be getting some answers. Answers which I really, really need right now. So that being said, I won't go on much longer, but I do want to ask you guys, what do you want to see next? What do you want to see me do? What do you want to see just in general for my channel? I have mentioned I'm gonna be going on a trip so do you guys want to see more vlogging style stuff do you want to see me do challenges on the trip you just want to see me go travel and do new shit other than film myself in my apartment and bike riding and lifting too what do you guys want to see let me know down in the comments below check me out on patreon it's a great way to support the channel follow me on my social media if you haven't already facebook snapchat twitter instagram you know the drill thanks again for watching the video guys and go eat a cheeseburger